Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen ID4 Pro S rear wheel drive. This particular one is glacier white on the exterior with lunar gray leatherette on the interior. It features LED headlights, LED turn signals and reverse lights on the rear. The glass roof panel, 20 inch machine black and silver alloy wheels. black roof rails the ID4 logo is right here on the back and as I said this is a rear wheel drive unit here keyless entry on two doors it says Pro S right here on the front on the uh, the uh, name flare right there integrated turn signals in the mirror caps and as we open this up here's a look inside before we climb in There's a look at your back seats, adjustable headrest there. Car seat hookups on the left side and the right side, fold down armrest in the middle and adjustable headrest right there with the button right there on the side trimmed out in black. And the ID, the ID nameplate is uh, etched into the back of the seat here. Memory seats right here, two seat memory with a massage seat as well. Power lumbar, forward back up and down is handled here and seat back right here. On the door panel here, there's a different shade of gray right here for this leatherette trim right here. The arm pad goes right up in the door inset here. Piano black trim on the, the uh, door handle here. And then also your buttons are all right here. One touch up, one touch down on your windows. And also there's your lift gate button right there. Here's a look on the inside here. The digital cockpit here is fixed to the steering wheel here. I've done a number of these ID4 videos now, so um, you're probably used to seeing this here. It is fixed to the steering wheel, so when you pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where you want, the uh, instrument cluster right here stays with it. You do have capacitive touch on the steering wheel here. Uh, you do also have your automatic headlights here, your poor weather lights, uh, maximum defrost and rear defrost are all right there on this little touch pad right here. Your vent setup is trimmed out in silver right here. It goes across and down underneath the infotainment center right here and then up on this side over here, similar to the GTI and Golf R. You have the larger screen right here in the middle and your shifter is gonna be right up here on the side. D is for drive, B is for regenerative braking, neutral's right here, reverse is twisted back, and then you push in on the side for park. On this instrument cluster here, you can, dis you can change what's displayed here by hitting the view button down here. So there is your cruise control and your assistance system right there. So I can turn on cruise control and set following distance. That shows up right here. Uh, also I have modes. So there's adaptive cruise control and regular cruise control I can pick from right there. Uh, so on the view button right here, I can change this to where I get all three views or all three items there and then hitting view again changes it again. And then this one brings up the route guidance and this one brings up uh, a toggles between the two, I should say, or the three screens. Uh, your, as I said, your shifters up here on, a, on the right side though, uh, the twist forward, that's drive. Uh, and then back, or I'm sorry, B is for regenerative braking, N is for neutral, and R is for reverse. On the touch screen here, we're gonna go remind me later, okay. Here's our touch screen right here. You do have uh, this home button right here that brings up the main screen right here that's all split. Uh, it's a two-way two split there. And then you have this screen here where you can actually swipe through here and change different items here too. The radio comes up right here. So we have the radio. I'm gonna make sure the volume stays down on that there. Uh, so it's FM and satellite radio. There is no AM. Um, then also you have on the home button here, uh, I can bring up the eight little cubes there and go home. Telephone, you can pair your phone here. There's also your SOS and info call right here for roadside assistance or questions. Uh, navigation comes up on the screen right here, touch maps. Maps brings up the map right here. This is your destinate or status bar here. It shows you when you're close, when you're close to uh, or where you are on your navigation route. So if you're traveling across country, that's showing this up here is going to be where the finish line is, and this is going to be where you're actually traveling from. Um, 
let's see here also the vehicle setup right here so there's your different items here for exterior the exterior lights tires headlights and what have you here so you can change different things on each one of these tires. You can set your tire pressure there as well. Um, the headlights, uh, you can uh, turn on and off the dynamic cornering light and then also set up how long they stay on when you unlock the door or when you lock the door as well. Interior, there's your cockpit set up right there. Uh, you can reset the items there that are showing up there. Interior lighting, um, you do have an ambient light. This is the brightness setting here. Um, and then you do also have the roof So you can set the roof settings here. I'm not sure about that's a new one So that opens the sunshade right there. That's a new twist. I didn't know you could do that You also can do that up here. So that's pretty cool that it does that Okay, so ID light the ID light runs up here in the dash and you can set the brightness for that. I Just changed it brighter there you go. So you can kind of see it moving around there to show you. Um, and then also um, the seats. You can set up driver seat, passenger seat for easy entry. Uh, both seats have that memory seat and also massage seat. So that's very cool. Uh, we'll go back, hit the home button again. App Connect gives you wireless Android Auto or wireless Apple CarPlay. Um, there is down here a cup holder where you can set your phone in here. The wireless charging port is actually down here. You lay your phone down in here uh, on its back and it'll charge through the case. Or um, if you have a pop socket or an a otter box, you'll, you'll need to remove the case, but the other ones, any other case, it'll charge through. Two USB-Cs right here, adjustable cup holders right here too, or just storage compartments here. Um, and you have a debris cover to hide that right there. This guy is completely removable here. Um, I wanted to go over that while I was talking about the phone. Charging screen right here. It shows that we're at 98%. Uh, 265 miles of range. This car is actually rated at 249 to 250. Um, let's see here. Users. You can set up individual users for the car as well. And add a guest if you need to. Sound system right here. This is just like the Golf R and GTI. You can adjust the focus move the speakers around so if you have someone sleeping you can adjust it however and just hit the center button to bring it back um, then you also have your EQ there as well ambient light is a thing that people will care about there's five mood settings right here eternity I'm sorry infinity eternity desire euphoria and vitality and then the custom one is the last one here and you can actually change what is displayed here so I can change this I, I'm partial to purple so I like setting purple the bottom one's footwell lights. The top one is the top lights here that go around uh, the car here. So there'll be a light here. It goes, I think it goes into the door here. I haven't actually been, uh, it's been a while since I've been in ID4 at, at night or at dark, but I think you have light in the door panels as well. I know for sure you have it up here and then there's footwell lighting down here. Um, let's see here, we'll go back and then we'll go to ID software. That's gonna be your upgrades, your settings right here. So the screen, date and time, voice operation, Wi-Fi, storing mobile devices in here, phones, uh, different phones. You can store multiple phones in the in the system here, at least two. Um, now, the things that are different here, I'm going to go back to home here. We'll go back to navigation so you see the maps here. Um, these buttons right here. You have a power button right here that turns off this whole infotainment system right here. Uh, it doesn't actually turn it off, but it brings you to the dead screen here. Uh, that turns off the climate control as well. You have a blue button right there. It's kind of hard to see, but you hit the blue side, and that's going to lower the temperature. You hit the red side, that's going to raise the temperature. It does the same thing on this side over here. And then you have volume control for the stereo right here, which also brings up the sprocket where you can go to settings and adjust your variant speed, uh, variable speed tone, and you can also adjust the goodbye tone. So this is when you exit the car that's pretty cool okay so you can adjust that as well down here below you have a parking menu okay that will bring up the backup camera there that's your park distance sensors there um, it does show you trajectory steering here um, you can turn the wheel left or right uh, right now I have it just in the auxiliary on position so the steering wheel is still locked 
um, but uh, that way the car won't shut off when I move around here. Um, and you can change your view here for the camera. There's this regular view here, and then there's the fisheye view. And we can also turn that off, just Xing out of that there. Um, and I'll hit the home button here. Uh, now you do also have, uh, over here on this side, you have Clima. Climate control, the classic uh, climate control is going to be like your regular controls here. You can touch the fan here and adjust high or low. Uh, you do also have your top vent and your bottom vent here and then your recirculated air as well. Or you can just do auto and the system runs on whatever you have set here. Um, the sync button turns white when it's paired, when both, both are set the same. And then you can actually hit the plus or minus to change here. You do also have a heated steering wheel and heated seats. They start out on high, then medium, then low, then off. Same with the heated steering wheel. Um, and these are these things heat up fairly quick. Uh, the heated seats, I'm sorry, the heat in the car and the cooling in the car are fairly quick too, being that it doesn't have an engine to draw from, it still does it fairly quickly. Assist systems, your assist systems, you just hit the little lines up here. You have adaptive cruise control, lane keep, or lane keeping assist, we're gonna go ahead and turn that on lane uh, change side assist system that's your blind spot on the sides they actually light up that little solar panel looking piece right there and over here on this side uh, you have front assist is your autonomous emergency braking and then emergency assist as well so you got all of that stuff there um, this is pretty cool this is a great car flat silver finish over here glove box is right here your manuals are here as well as your tire warranties are right inside there there's a look at that piano black there and the seat for the passenger is also trimmed out with a memory seat there a massage seat and a power forward and back and a power lumbar these armrests right here fold up out of the way these are gone in a 2023 so if you like the captain's chair armrest get yourself a 2022 if you don't care about that and you want the more traditional armrest the 2023 is going to be where it's at there's a look at that giant uh, glass roof there out of habit i want to say panoramic sunroof but it's not a sunroof it's just a glass roof with a power sunshade and just sw swipe right there and that's going to close so you do have protection from direct sunlight the glass is tinted as well you do have a, vent, a vanity mirror right here with an led light on both sides very nice and then capacitive touch for your dome lights on both sides there just tap tap it turns them on and it turns them off you also have the sos button right here and then your dome light set up right there the mirror is just a regular standard mirror here you can do the auto dimming home link mirror here with the three-door garage door memory but uh, this one didn't come with it um, so you can have that as well um, and then let's take a look at the back here i knew it was going to do that so i'm going to push the brake and push the start button here oh I stopped it there we go so the car is still on as, as far as I can tell here <laughs> we'll climb into the back here there's a look up front again right there the giant roof right here uh, the piano black trim back here as well uh, instead of just a travel pocket down here you do also have a foam pocket up here Two USB-C connections right here to plug your phone into and the cord just goes up into your phone right here you stick your phone in this pocket here to charge you have that on both sides uh, you have a vent back here trimmed out and piano black as well the seats have this still have this hex um, perforation in the seat here there's your car seat hookups there and also over here fold down armrest in the middle right here and I just realized I forgot to go over the window sticker before I climbed in and then there's a pass through right there too. Dome lights on the sides back here. And as I climb out here, there's a look at those alloy wheels, machine black and silver there. This one comes in at 47,480. The extras on this one include for um, the ID4 package, protection and convenience package, 380 bucks. That gives you all weather mats. Also, uh, cargo blocks and EV roadside assistance kit, and then also Volkswagen prepaid maintenance, seventy uh, for thirty thousand miles. I added seventy five bucks to the car right there, and then there's a destination charge of twelve ninety five, bringing you to forty seven four eighty. As we look at the back hatch here, it is a power lift gate. 
this one does have the privacy cover on the back here they hook up here and also over here i'm gonna drop that down so you can see through right here there's a look inside from the back it's a five seater setup suv these seats will fold flat too there's a little lever right here and here where you can push the seats down and have cargo space there's your pass-throughs as well this is your ev uh, uh roadside assistance kit right here cargo blocks here complimentary adapter right here to go from a USB-C to a USB-A extra floor mats right here these are cloth ones there is a first aid kit right there and the ID4 rubber mat kit right there all weather mats underneath this floor right here there's also another floor right here so you can store things here as well as a cord now th this one uh, this one being a 2022 uh, we're gonna find out about a cord here real quick let's see here I think this one should have a cord in it I'm trying to juggle this with one hand here underneath the floor right there there's a uh, can of fix a flat and your jack apparatus right there I guess they're not doing the cord in this one as well so they have deleted that ho that household cord so you don't have that cord anymore for these cars um, and I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand maybe actually I think I got it done here um, so you can hook that back up there's your privacy cover right there now, if you get the all-wheel drive version of this one, you do get the 2,700 pound tow hitch as well. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's 450,000 miles. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's grief. That is not 450,000 miles. That is a five, a five year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on the car. Five years, 50,000 miles, and includes two years of free maintenance. <laughs> the, the beauty of a one take is four years 50,000 miles bumper to bumper on a car and that includes two years of free maintenance so your 10 and 20,000 mile maintenance on the car is covered uh, that's going to be just uh, a fluid top off uh, there is no oil change on the car so it won't be that uh, and then also we'll give you a third year of free maintenance for buying from Bomberito St. Peter's also if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's we give you um, on, on a gas powered car, we're going to give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. On the EV, we don't have that, uh, but just plugging that anyway, just so you know that's available. Uh, if you're interested in a, in a car like this one or one of these, give me a call 636 290 4257. 636 290 4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.